Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy AB. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you guys are new, please consider subscribing and turning on notification bells so you don't miss a single video. Now, before I fully get into my uh, Toy Story That Time Forgot Thinkway Toys Battle Sore Woody Doll review, I want to point out that typically I do drink Dr. Pepper, but recently I just acquired a handful of 12 packs of my favorite Mountain Dew flavor, Mountain Dew Livewire, which is this orange flavor. It's literally like Mountain Dew and Fanta had a baby. This stuff is amazing right here pure deliciousness mountain dew does not sponsor this video by the way starting off this review i want to mention a couple of things to get them out of the way like where i got them how much i got them for and what you can expect to get them new in box and out of box so i got this guy all the way from the uk for about 162 pounds sterling which is equivalent to 217 dollars in the u.s so this guy was a decent amount of money but more reasonable than what you would expect to get him for new in the box because i've seen him go up to nearly five thousand dollars with all his accessories brand new mint in box so you can expect to get him out of the box for about a little over 200 maybe close to 300 dollars which i think is a bit more reasonable now the only issue i really have with him is that he did not come with his accessories whenever i ordered him off ebay i just got him the doll but it's not that big of a deal but still a little bit of a bummer i'll, I'll put a picture of him new in the box so you can kind of see what he's supposed to come with he's supposed to come with these two removable shoulder pads right here which he obviously doesn't have and he has a red crystal sword right here he's supposed to have one at least and a red crystal dagger kind of like uh, what you would expect the battle source from that uh, cartoon the toy story short toy story that time forgot now that's not that big of a deal in hindsight because i mean i did kind of get my money's worth i got the doll which is the most important part i could probably go look around on reddit to see if people have any spare uh pieces they could give me for the uh, shoulder pads and maybe i could 3d print him uh some swords for his hands that would fit right here because of the mold of his hand right here which i actually think is pretty interesting not like the uh cupped hands that he has uh in typical thinkway dolls here the body of the doll overall heavily reminds me of the thinkway toys toy story 2009 cloud pattern box not the toy story collection one just the one that came before that not including the hand mold and the armor now i will say that the doll is more than likely a movie accurate toy story height for woody but then again i'm not really focusing on movie accuracy on this doll because this is a uh, special edition woody doll that think we made for the toy story that time forgot cartoon so apart from the hands not being like the typical think way woody doll hands i would say that the other differences on him is that he does not have a sheriff badge only has one of the shirt buttons not including on his cuffs and of course they gave him armor to his belt buckle right here which i actually really like that is pretty neat looking i will say that the uh, holster right here heavily reminds me of the 2009 cloud pattern box woody doll because i mean it doesn't swivel like the collection one and it's not that high quality material like the collection one but it definitely gives me old nostalgia vibes because the 2009 woody doll was one of my earliest woody dolls as a kid he's got armor not only on the belt buckle but on his cuffs right here which I really love. It's really cool right here. And I love the whole chest piece right here, along with the Battle Sword logo right here, which actually happens to be how he talks. That's his talking mechanism. He, it's a button. He doesn't have a pull string, which I should add, no pull string mechanism right here. He's even got armor on his boots, which is pretty cool. And he doesn't have Andy or Bonnie on his boot. Thank God it doesn't have Bonnie on the boot. Ugh. Apart from that, he's got the Thinkway and Disney Pixar copyright on his boot. I love the shirt material right here. It is a little worn, but that's probably because this is an older doll and he was out of the box whenever I bought him. And I do love the denim on his pants because I feel like this is real denim. Maybe if it's print on, it's really good print on. He does not have hair lines on his head of hair right here and he does the whole 360 uh, head rotation which i absolutely love in any woody doll out there we toys can see everything so play nice now the part you guys have all been waiting for the voice box phrases which i typically hold best for last
crash landing. Everyone okay? Come on, buddy, fight it off! hi you ya Looks like we've got all afternoon to find our old friends. Come on, gang, let's stay together! <laughs> Easy there, little doggy. The battle swords are not playing! They've never been played with! They don't even know their toys! Uh, well, hi there, uh, sir. My name's Woody, and, uh, th nobody cares. Well, I think I'm gonna head back. What? Check out all this nutty battle gear. These battle swords sure take their battle gear seriously. <laughs> Being a sheriff is nothing like playing battle swords. Granitoid battle armor, check. Zeta crystal ultimate battle blade, double check. <laughs> This sheriff is geared up and ready for battle. I hope. Battle soars, Woody. Now, there's no doubt about it. This is definitely a Jim Hanks voice box, as pretty much for all the Woody dolls out there. Definitely not Tom Hanks, but again, not heavily focusing on the movie accuracy since this is a special edition Woody. I just the snob part of me just can't help but point it out every once in a while. I know I'm a dork complete dweeb. Before I end this video out, I have a couple things I want to mention and say. Uh, I do believe he was also supposed to come with a hat. Not completely sure, but just in case, I will try to find an extra Thinkway hat just to put on him and make him more complete. I will try my best to complete him and make him look fully complete. Lastly, I owe you guys an apology for this video coming out so late. I've been juggling work and I actually filmed this video twice. This is my second time filming this video right here, the video you're seeing. First time I filmed it, I was having a really crappy Happy day, could hardly talk, and I felt like I didn't have enough information and background on the doll here and whatnot. It's just, I didn't want to give you guys a half-assed video that I was very unhappy with because I'm a very big neat freak with how my video quality is because I'm trying my best to have quantity and quality, but I'm starting to think I should I should value quality over the quantity part. I'm, I'm glad I refilmed it a second time because now I feel like this video is going to be much better. So yeah, guys, there will be more videos on the way. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment down below and please subscribe and turn on notification bell so don't miss a single video this has been your boy ab out peace out rainbow trout